My name is Misha and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the pen tool and the curvature tool in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get going. So once you see Adobe Illustrator on your screen, you can go ahead and double click it. It might take a while to load. Now after it's done loading, you'll see on the side of the screen there's learn, your files, share with you, and deleted. Now go ahead and go to home and double click the common canvas. Now after it's loaded, you'll come over and you'll see these two tools. They are the one with an S and then and one with none so you'll go ahead and click the pen tool and just make a box and you can do many things with the pen tool and the carpenter tool so for example you can make a box like i just did and you can also control alt to zoom in now you'll come over to the carpenter tool press it and then come into the middle of the stroke and you just pull it up it should look like, the, look like this. And you can make many things with the curvature tool and the pen tool. For example, you can make clouds and houses or chipmunks or whatever animals you want. It's your imagination. So you can make lots of stuff now you can come down take the curvature tool and just make it like this at both of the bottoms now you will select it with the with pressing V on your keyboard to get the select tool and then you'll get this bottom point and just make it a little bit small like this now it looks like a human head and stuff now you will select it and you will come over double click the fill tool over here and you'll see the color picker now you will add it make it like a tan color for your body skin tone of a girl or a boy now You'll come over to the pen tool over here and just start up at the top and make some simple lines like for a girl. Now you'll make one part of the hair and then the other part of the hair later. You'll select it, take the curvature tool and make it round a little bit so it comes to life. You can also come over and take the pen tool and make some strands of hair everywhere. Now after you do that, you will come over, put this to the side, and then you'll take the pen tool and just make another part of hair. You can make any hairstyle you want. You can also use the pen tool to make lots of different designs. Now you should make yours look like this or whatever you want it to look like. Connect it and then take the curvature tool and just make it puff up a little bit. Make sure it kind of matches the same of your other piece of hair. And then you can make lots of hair strands. You can make your hair crazy and you can make it professional or whatever you would like. And you can also make it how I'm doing it right now. After you do this, 
can come over and drag the other piece. Make sure they're aligned, just like this. And you have the hair. Now you'll come over to the pen tool, just make a square, a rectangle. Now, if you like rectangle eyes, you can leave it like that. Now you come over and fill, hit this button over here to swap the color. Now you'll come over to the cover tip tool and make it round a little bit. And make the bottom a little bit up so it looks like this. After that, you can hit Control C and Control V on your keyboard to copy and paste it. Now, after you do that, you'll come over to the Curvature tool and just make a big smile. Just like this. Add a couple of points and then swap it. Now it should look like this. And you can adjust it wherever you want. So then you'll come over and then you'll see the pen tool over here. Click that and just make and just make a line like this and then make like a rectangle. Make sure it looks like this. And then you'll connect it together. Now you'll right click it, range it, and then right range it where transform is, and then send it to back. After that, you can move it around a little bit, and then take over the pen tool, go in the middle, and just outline everything until you get something like a shirt. Now it shows like this, so right click it, do the same, arrange and send it back, and it shows like this. Now we're going to add color. You can make the hair any color you want, double clicking by the fill tool and making it any color you want. You can also hit I on your keyboard when you're selecting something that's a different color and is selecting a different color from something else to get, to get that exact same color. Now, you'll come down to the face. You'll use the face any color you want. And then you just double click that and then select the shirt, make it a nice turquoise color, and zoom into the neck. Take the curvature tool make it so it's alive a little bit. It should look like, it should look like this. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps for you. Goodbye.